Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to another bucket plugin tutorial. Today we're going to be doing about bungee cord. Now bungee cord is fun. And we're not going to be doing about how to set up bungee cord and stuff. We're going to be doing about how to actually sort of... I mean, if you don't know about bungee cord, basically it's this. It's where you can... It's your type of server and you have your server and you can send people to different servers on it. And they're all like connected to this main proxy server, which is bungee cord. It's fairly complicated. Um, but yeah, you know. We will we'll learn. Let me actually get up um, bungee cord on. Okay, so here's his bungee cord. Um, do, 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 do. Very easy to connect to mobile servers together. Bungee cord to answer the stream. Da, 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 da. Basically, you know, you can work over bungee cord servers. So if you if you're looking on how to how to teleport between servers and stuff, um, come to here. It's Google bungee cord. First one that comes up installation there's lots of videos on youtube on how to do it and we're going to be doing about how to use it in a plugin if you don't know about bungee cord i do not suggest you watch this video because i have no idea what i'm doing obviously you can try if you want um so so we're just going to do a simple thing which is how to connect another server so it's like any other plugin but we're going to make we're just going to make a method okay and it's going to be called send to server okay and we're going to send the player so we're going to put a player in here um, we're going to say string, which is going to be our target server, and yeah, that's it. So, that's our method. Um, so, we'll get into sort of when we're going to use it later. And to send other players to the server, what we do is we make this, this thing called a byte array output stream, which is from java.io.byteArrayOutputStream, and we're going to call it um, b, <laughs> and it's equal to a new byte and then byte array output stream with like no parameters. So this is just an object, okay, which is an array of bytes which can be outputted in a stream is basically what this is. Um, now we're gonna make is an, a data output stream, a data output stream from java.io and we're gonna call this out. And it's a new data output, oh my God. This is a, a new data output stream. And in the parameters it takes the byte array. So in the output stream, we're going to be putting out the arrays of bytes that we're outputting in a stream through the output stream that's going to output data. <laughs> okay, so we need to make something called like the try and catch. If you don't know what these are, you have not watched any of my other videos, and you should go and do that now. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and we're going to try and do write UTF. Um, now UTF is that's my phone. It's my um. It, sorry, <laughs> it, it's a way of of it's like encoding. It's UTF is like. It's 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 a it's a form of like text. It's like what you you write. You're, you're basically if we look at this here, it says writes a string to the underlying output stream, using modified UTF eight. Now UTF eight is like the normal sort of this this these characters these characters that you're seeing here, and. It's it's just a way of writing out data. So it's basically writing out data, um, but in in a sort of encoded special way. Um, so we're going to write out connect. Okay, that's going to tell Bungie Cord we're gonna we're about to connect. We're about to connect to a server, and we're then going to say out dot write UTF, and we're going to write UTF target server. Now the target server is in your bungee cord. You have a list of so in your config file you have a list of servers and you have their IPs, um, and this is the name of that that target. That's the name of that target server. Um, and, and an error can never really happen when you're right. You just, all we're doing is outputting some text, which is writing it to this stream as to what to output. Um, oh god. <laughs> um, so yeah, th this will never really happen. But just in case, we're gonna print the stack trace. Now. What we need to do is make a public void on enable. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so in on enable, what we have to do is we have to we have to. I'll, I'll just type that. So yeah, we, we type get server, and we get um. No, we get get plugin manager, and we have to do something called register. Um, oh, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> I think it's just get server dot. Register. Oh, give me a second. I remembered. Anyway, so <laughs> get server dot get messenger, and register. 
outgoing plugin channel. So this registers Bungie Cord basically, and in the parameters it says which plugin do you want this to register for, and we want it to register for this plugin. And what do we want to register? We want to register Bungie Cord. So we want to make sure that Bungie Cord can sort of output data and stuff um, to different like outside the servers and stuff. So we can use Bungie Cord as an external plugin. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to type player dot send plugin message. Now this sends a message sort of within the plugin. <laughs> this is fairly difficult to sort of understand. Um, so in a plugin we're containing this parameter because this is our main class. The string is going to be bungee cord, so this is the uh, this is the plugin that we're sending the message through, and the byte array is going to be our our bytes array output stream, which is up here. So B, I put V, B dot two byte array. So what happens here is we're getting a byte array output stream and we're getting an output stream and we're writing to that output stream connect to the target server. We're then sending a plugin message, which is going to go through Bungie Cord into the, like in this plugin, and we're going to say connect to this server. And then Bungie Cord's going to do its magic, and it's going to connect people to its server. So that is actually <laughs> it. So if we were to make let's make a command that would send us to a different server. So on command. Um, Again, obviously, if you don't have any idea what I'm doing or what Bungie Cord is, then you know, and you want to get into Bungie Cord, watch some tutorial videos on how to set up Bungie Cord, and then come here if you want to make a plugin for it. So, say we just want to check if the command label uh, equals ignore case like teleport. So they want to teleport to a different server. Then we would say send to server, send to server, and say they would their their command looked something like uh, so slash teleport and then the name of the server. So Cool server. So this is one of the names of your servers that you had. So you know when you do bungee when you're in bungee cord and you do like slash servers, I think it is. It gives you a list of them all, and that's what's in your config file. And one of them was cool server. They went to cool server. Um, then they type teleport, and we want to teleport the the, the player. So if we just uh, just cast this to player like so, and the target server would be args zero. So that would be like their cool server thing. And that would teleport. So they then actually leave this server and this plugin would no longer be, you know, it might, if you don't have this on the other server, then this plugin wouldn't even make any sense on that server. It wouldn't even be on that server because they'd be actually teleported completely to a separate server. This server, they would no longer be on because what they're being done, what's, ha what's happening is they are, uh, they're connecting to the target server that's being written. So if you have any questions, any issues, I know that, um, the, the website Bungie Cord has a forum and you can you can actually use that and you can that website has a forum on it you can ask people you have issues um, if you have any issues have to set up Bungie Cord obviously go on there uh, if you have any issues with the plugin just message me in the comments or message me directly on YouTube or email me at um, Ben my email <laughs> Ben at the bcbrosbucket.com okay that's my email. If you have any issues regarding plugins, email there, please, and you will get a response. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.